Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your wages are being garnished. We can stop that now. It's hard enough to pay your bills when things are good, let alone when a big chunk of your take-home pay is gone before you even get your check. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné, and I can stop the garnishment and get the creditors off your back immediately, often the same day as our consultation. Both Chapter 7 and 13 provide bankruptcy relief, but choosing the right chapter is crucial. In a free consultation, we can create a plan to get your finances back under your control. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. And new in the rock shop, it's the BJ and Miggs Rock Socks, baby. I, 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 uh, some of my friends are like, dude, really? You've got your own socks? I'm like, yeah, we do. Yeah, have our faces on your feet. Yeah, so you want our faces <laughs> on your feet? Some of you wanted to step on us, maybe kick us anyway. Now you Whoa. have a chance. These socks look pretty awesome, man. You got to check them out. The BJ and Miggs Rock Socks, they are available for you right now at the Rock Shop. Go to KISW.com. Let's play B. Whack him instead. It's Whack It Wednesday. Whack it. Let yeah, me see everybody do their Mr. Wacky then. All right. BJ waving his hands in the oh, air. Like, I don't care. Yeah, you got some sweet moves there. Thanks, buddy. Whack it. <laughs> Let's get to our contestant. We got Logan on the I-405. Logan, are you there, sir? Logan. Oh, no, Logan. Hold on. No, it's not his fault. It's the darn thing again. There we go. Logan, now you're on. Ready to whack it. Yay! What's he playing for whack today, it. Steve? Tickets to check out Pain in the Grass on the Friday show, which nice. features Disturbed in this oh, moment, plenty yeah. of other great bands. That's happening on Friday, August 2nd. Go to KISW.com for all the details and for tickets. And don't forget, it's Live Nation's National Concert Week, and that starts today. So you get nice. $20 all-in tickets for whether it be Tuesday, Friday, or Saturday's Pain in the Grass, as well as other shows that are happening at uh, the White River Amphitheater, other Live Nation shows as well. Just go to LiveNation.com for more of that information. All right. <laughs> All right, Steve, get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. What's he, uh, for those playing at home. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Are you okay over there, buddy? I don't know. For those okay. playing at home, Logan will have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. Logan, you can pass all you want, but you will only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? Yes, sir. What hotel slash motel chain adopted its name based on its original room rate? Uh, hotel 8. No. Hotel 8. No. Uh, pass. What zodiac sign are you if you were born on Cinco de Mayo? Uh, Cancer. No. Spicy. No. Gemini. No. Uh, what year of the mid 90s did the band Good Charlotte form? 94. No. 95. No. E6. Yes. By area, what is the smallest of the Great Lakes? Um, uh, Erie. No. Uh, pass. What actor co-stars alongside Lady Gaga in the movie A Star is Born? Uh, Bradley Cooper. Yes. The first episode of The Big Bang Theory aired in what year? Don't care. Pass. <laughs> what is the main color of the traditional wrapper of a Twix candy bar? Uh, gold. Yes. Bread, butter, and butcher are all types of what kitchen utensil? Knife. Yes. In which movie did Clint Eastwood utter the line, go ahead, make my day? Yeah. What was that? Dirty Harry? No. One, two, three, four. Correct. Oh, oh. that's the character, but it's not the movie. Oh. oh. It's a tough one there, so. Yeah. I, I don't, don't remember the name anyone of the to get that one. I think. I think I know the name of the movie. Okay, well, don't say anything, because I don't yeah. think Steve's going to get that one. Yeah. So I'll let you have the glory afterwards. Yeah. Son of a gun. So it was that one. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah. I don't know because you haven't said yet, so I don't know if you know. Well, yeah. So you might not know. All right. Steve, are you ready? I don't know. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what hotel slash motel chain adopted its name based on the original room rate? 76. No. Oh, um... Motel 6. Yes. What zodiac sign are you if you were born in, on Cinco de Mayo? Uh, you are uh, 
Uh, tequila. No. Tequila. <laughs> Capricorn. No. Sagittarius. No. Oh. What year of the mid 90s did the band Good Charlotte form? Oh, they formed in uh, 1994. No. 96. Yes. By area, what is the smallest of the Great Lakes? Uh, Lake Erie. No. Lake. Lake Michigan. No. Lake. Mm. <laughs> Which actor co-stars yeah. alongside Lady Gaga in the movie A Star Is Born? The Tony Bennett? No. Oh. <laughs> James Earl Jones. No. Yes. <laughs> wow. Oh, the boy. first episode of The Big Bang Theory aired in what year? Oh crap. Uh, 2010. No. 2009. No. 2011. No. What is oh. the main color of the traditional wrapper of a Twix candy bar? Red. No. Oh wait. I was thinking Kit Kat. Yeah, you were. Damn yeah, it. you were. Steve. You dropped a deuce, Ooh, and you got yeah. whacked. Congratulations, Logan. You're yeah. going to paint in the grass. Nice. Whack it. Thank you, Logan. Of course, because Thank of you. That, yeah, you hang on the line. And <laughs> that was Logan, tough. Logan yeah, also apparently. gave me this here. Yeah. Woo. Yes, Steve. Steve not on his game. It happens, Rev. Yeah, it, it does. does. It does, really. Well, he was no uh, James. What's his name? Wasn't Bozy Ali? What's what? that guy's name from Jeopardy? Uh, Eisenhoffer. Uh, yeah, James uh, Bose is Hebel Bebel. Holzhauer or something? Yeah, like that? that's it. I yeah. think that's it. Yeah. 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 Again, what he won again last night? Oh, he, I was waiting. Yeah. yeah. 56 grand or something like that again? It's just insane. Making a lot of money. Yeah, he is. Like, he's about to, like, Ken Jennings did 74 wins to get 2.5 million. The guy's looking to do something like 34 days or 36 days to get that same amount. That, yeah. If he keeps up that pace. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah, he's killing. Uh, the zodiac sign that you are if you were born on Cinco de Mayo. Is it Taurus? It is. Oh, look at me. Yeah. Uh, the smallest of the Great Lakes. Is it Huron? No. Uh, Ontario? Yes, it is. It, Lake Ontario is the smallest, huh? Of course. Mm-hmm. Duh. Yeah. Wow, I really thought that was bigger than it was. <laughs> I wouldn't have got that one. I just because everybody's missed guesses, I knew that it had to be That's Ontario. something that Vicky usually says on the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Bradley Cooper start alongside Lady Gaga. Come on, Steve. Didn't Logan you watch the Oscars? Corrects. It was such a wonderful oh, performance. It was not they were like awkwardly looking at each other yeah. or something. They like were that. about to make out. That's like, what yeah, people were thinking. Everyone. Everyone. They're like, wait, Brad's married. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? That's what people were saying, just like that. Uh, does anybody know the first episode of The Big Bang Theory, what year it aired? I thought it's only nine, nine seasons. Mm, no. no. it's more. No. So was it like tw- 2008? Close. Seven? Yeah, 2007. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. It's been on for a while. It's yeah. been on a long time. May 15th, whatever that Thursday is, it's either 15th or 16th is the Whoa. last episode. They just recorded it. Really? They just recorded the last episode, lots of tears, whatever. There's and so, so many things this year that are just ending. Yeah, we'll see the last hour-long episode on that. Hour-long? Yeah, it's the 15th or 16th, whatever the, that, that, whatever that day is, a Thursday. Yeah, during May sweep and all yeah. that fun stuff. Yeah. Uh, gold is the main color of a Twix candy bar. Uh, one of them that you didn't get to that uh, not, uh, Logan did not get correct. Uh, in which movie does Clint Eastwood utter the line, go ahead, make my day? Oh, that's... Um, snap, 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 snap. The one where he kills people. Well, yeah. 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 Not Death Wish. No, because that was Charles Bronson. I know, yeah. but wasn't it like it was a franchise, wasn't it? Yeah, mm-hmm. it was. Uh, Clint, uh, Lucky Harry, D- Dirty Harry. <laughs> that was his name in it, but it wasn't the name of this the movie. Equalizer. No. no. <laughs> Do you know uh, BJ? Is it, Ma- is it Magnum Force? No. Oh, son of a no. B. It was Sudden Impact. Sudden Impact. That oh, was the boy, first yeah. one that had, yeah, it was a super hard one, but uh, right. I thought BJ. Magnum Force is one of them. It's just not. It might have been. Yeah, yeah. that's Wait. the name of one of those movies. So the Dirty Harry franchise, they didn't have like one name for the movies. He was. They just had different names for yeah. that character. But it was quote unquote dirty Harry. Oh, there was never but a was, movie called Dirty Harry? I don't believe but so. But they were dirty Harry movies. That's yes. interesting. Yeah. I'll have to look that up. I thought there was at least one movie, but you, think, you may be right. Yeah, I don't think there was. Are Vicky you looking it up right now? Yeah. And? Yeah. There was one? Dirty Harry 1971. Yeah. Uh, so the first one, probably. And, and go ahead, make my day was from Sudden Impact, huh? Yeah, I mean, that's what the internet told me. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Not that it matters. And there is a Magnum Force there, too, right, Vicky? I'm pretty sure. Wow. That might have been the second one. Yeah, that was the triple uh, X version right there. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Uh, Sudden Impact sounds like a triple X version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Magnum Force is 73. There we go. Uh, congratulations to Logan on beating Steve this morning. Yeah, all you got to do is tie or beat Steve. That's how you get the prize. And uh, sometimes we'll even ask questions that we don't know the answers to, even though we think we do. <laughs> Riff. He's my boy. Yeah. 
We got a Domino's employee who assaulted a coworker. Why? I'll tell you why. All because of the Avengers. Well, this Avengers is really causing problems. People going to the hospital. Right. Crying. People getting beat up in Hong Kong. Yeah. Now a Domino's employee is charged with assault. Why? We're going to tell you why. At 717 on The Rock. BJ and Mix Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. There's an employee at a Domino's in Texas that attacked a co-worker because that co-worker shared Avengers Endgame spoilers over the weekend. Jeez. Yeah. It's Acceptable. Gone. Yeah. Acceptable. Yeah, Rev. Yep. Rev would have done it. Yep. Well, the cops had to be called, and uh, there was an assault filed, and yeah. A uh, 33-year-old employee named Justin was cited for assault after attacking his coworker for revealing what happens in the movie. A customer at that Domino's had this to say about what happened. That's hilarious. Um, no, I didn't. I, that's that just seemed kind of insane to me that they would do that over a movie. But I don't know. Maybe they're really wanting to go see it. But I feel like if they were that into it, they should have pre-ordered tickets. <laughs> <laughs> if you really wanted to see the movie, yeah. you should have saw it. This I mean, happened on Sunday. The movie yeah. came out on Thursday. Yeah. I'm not going to argue that point because that's literally why I saw it on Thursday. Yeah, to avoid any spoilers. Absolutely, and I'm glad I did because of our textures. That's yeah. true. Friday morning, first text we got. Red was ready to go track that person down and kill them. I yeah, was. I was going to post their phone number on Craigslist, but yeah. well. And, and, and I think he's been wiping uh, all of our websites and socials of all the spoilers mm-hmm. that have been, been have been posted as well. Yeah. Dude, some guy posted on, what was it, Monday or Friday or Sunday, so and he funny. said, hey, if I don't get $500 wired to my PayPal, I'm going to start spoiling. <laughs> he legit did that. Yeah. And I, uh, how much money yeah. did he make? Yeah. I hope nothing. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, oh, shut up. This is great. Yeah, This is so great. Hey, uh, Bobby, can you pass me the pizza sauce? Oh, by the way, Spock dies. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. It's just, that's what that, that's what life is like. People just are, 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 are they, they're getting joy out of making misery. And really, what is an assault? Did he, yeah, like throw some pizza at him? It's probably not a big assault. Look at Rev, Rev doesn't right. It's just a medium-sized assault. Smash his head and put it in the wood fire grill. Oh. <laughs> See, that would be an assault, but I'm thinking maybe along the lines of just throwing some pepperoni at him or something. Yeah, but even still, Rev, had he smashed his head, thrown in the wood fire grill, you still think it's warranted. Absolutely. That's what I thought, yeah. You think, like, the cops show up, and it depends on what kind of a uh, fan of the Avengers that cop is, and that's how they de- handle the situation? Yeah, right. Because if it was that girl, she's like, nah, I don't care. You can tell she doesn't care. Yeah, oh yeah. So, yeah, so hopefully the cop cares a little bit more. You're right. I feel for the other coworker, the third coworker that has to watch this crap. Yeah. Like, seriously, guys? Yeah. You're fighting over a movie. Yeah, we are. Just trying to make pizza here. Yeah, you awesome. know it's fake, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's right. Go watch some wrestling. Now, it's the lukewarm topic of the day. So a Domino's employee assaults a coworker over an Avengers spoiler. Based on this, we want to know, what is the most ridiculous thing that you've ever seen at your workplace? 206-421-ROCK, text us at 77999. What's the most ridiculous thing you've seen at your workplace? Your calls, your texts, after the BC Boys on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. A Domino's employee assaults a coworker over an Avengers spoiler. Oh yeah, that's how serious people are about this movie. Yeah, I wonder when we can start talking about it. I know uh, Joey D saw it yesterday, but I mean, or would I get assaulted right now, Steve? Do you think if I? Uh, oh, Danny will kill you. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, I'd be so mad at you. I'm oh. planning on seeing that movie in like three years. Okay. Yep. Danny has brass knuckles on his fist right now, just, just in wait. case this happens. <laughs> yes. Okay. He's, he's a huge Avengers fan. Look, as much as I love movies, that is kind of ridiculous to have a, you know to assault somebody because they they spoil a movie. It sucks that they did it, but you're beating somebody up over it. You have every right to be annoyed. I yeah. get that. It's but a the reasonable mid- response for the rev, of course, it is. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty ridiculous, and that's something that you know somebody like Steve said. There's a third employee that had to sit there and watch that at least, yeah, and just observe these two morons arguing over a movie. Yeah. So how about you? What's the most ridiculous thing that you've seen at your workplace? Two zero six four two one rock. Text us at seven seven nine nine nine. Let's go to Mike in Covington. Mike, you are on the rock. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey Mikey, what's up, buddy? 
Hola, Biggie. Yeah. Hi, anyway. Puppy. Hey, so uh, I I worked in my younger days at a major shipping company. I won't tell you who it is on the air. Uh, but uh, so we were waiting for some trucks to show up so we could start sorting packages. And our manager came out, was looking for a couple of the employees that, that weren't on the floor. And uh, he started searching uh, the backs of trucks and uh, one at the end of the bay. And they were in that truck getting busy. Now you're talking. Talk about delivering. Yeah, he was showing her his package, I guess. Yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You know, that's a great life right there when you can find somebody that wants to have sex with you at work. That's pretty awesome. We have one texture yeah. even said coworker having some quote unquote karaoke fun with the boss. Oh, really? Oh. I got a pay raise. Oh, oh, because you saw. Great negotiation. Yeah, there were some oral negotiations, definitely. And then some financial negotiations. Wow. So the boss sees you, sees you seeing him, and therefore you get the raise. And I, the boss got the raise. I mean, yeah. <laughs> everyone got the raise. I don't know if I could ever keep a straight face seeing those two at the workplace. Yeah. Every time, I'm like... <laughs> You guys. I'll tell you right now, man. I mean, <laughs> right? Power is an aphrodisiac. I don't know if it works the other way around with men, but with women, power is an aphrodisiac. No doubt about it. Oh, yeah. Man. Oprah gets me hot and bothered, man. Oh, does she? She's oh, the most powerful oh. woman in the world, okay. right? Hey, all right. There you go. I just, you know, I, I just love where she lives. She lives in a lot of cool places. That's what gets me hot and bothered. Mm-hmm. This person, I feel like, could write a, a I bet you could write a book when you work at a banquet hall. Because this person says, I worked at a banquet hall. A new husband got caught cheating on his, his bra- wife. With the bridesmaid. What? Whoa. Cops were called that night. What? God, I, I, I mean, I know drinking, and when people drink, they do stupid things, but man, you got you to dial it back so that doesn't happen. I'm glad it was just bridesmaid, not maid of honor. Oh, okay. Or mother of the bride. Hmm. Oh, that that's worse. Be, yeah. <laughs> well, mother calf cow, of mother of the bride, or maid of honor. Well, if you're going for the calf cow, mother of the bride is better. I mean, as far well, as for the guy, for yeah. the man mission, that's but, a success. Yeah, yeah you know that about it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, there's a great story at the bar. Yeah, as you, you know, realize you're sending half of your money to your now yeah. ex wife. Maid of honor is worse for her because that's supposed to be your best friend, right? But that's her mother. Well, yes, you I can always find a new best friend. Oh you yeah, can't find a new mother. Yeah, <laughs> but you know what? Sometimes mothers and daughters already have a strained relationship, and uh, that was just basically the final nail in the coffin. Yeah, I've clicked on those thumbnails. Yeah, you have. <laughs> oh dear, maybe you have. Damn, that is a very ridiculous thing to happen at work. Yeah, like you said, I bet that guy could write a book. <laughs> I mean, I feel like we could write a book because of all the ridiculous things that we've seen. Like uh, the time we had a guy on the show lick Rev's belly button or the time I got to slap him twice. You know, I, I forgot about that. that. Why you got to bring that up? Oh, yeah, you got to slap people. I mean, oh, I got to slap him. It was great. How about that? Should you like to, that's your job. Okay, we'd like you to go over and slap him. It's like, okay. Remember when there was like two random Oompa Loompas showed up to work? That was pretty what? awesome. Yeah. I you weren't that. here for that. I missed that one. No, I... I don't remember. They were, I guess, promoting Willy Wonka. And they were little people. <laughs> I hope they were, Steve. <laughs> There's no other reason to be dressed like an Oompa Loompa. It was like the greatest day ever, but it was so unexpected because they weren't there for us. But, of course, we're just like, yeah, I want to meet these guys. Of course you do. Yeah. We've had a lot of people come in with weird stuff. It was like that one holiday movie with Seth Rogen and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. And I think Anthony Mackie, where the guys come in in Christmas sweaters and had like the big oh, fake Seth Rogen head. Yeah, they did. I remember that. Like, we've had a lot of interesting things come through these halls. I like to think that I've been interesting. Like, you know, some of the things that I've done later, I would be part of some of these interesting things. Because I've had some blowouts at work and uh, some scream fest in the middle where everybody could hear it. Uh-huh. Different jobs. Mm-hmm. Along oh, those yeah. lines for me, it was like, I never saw BJ freak out. But I did hear about Rev pooping the, the halls of the, the radio station. I thought, it was, I thought it was just a story. And then that one day on Beat Migs where he almost pooped in the studio, I was like, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Oh, when he had to like get on the chair yeah. oh, yeah, and, and he had to roll himself. I out of the studio literally had to scoot on the chair yeah. from the studio all the way to the bathroom yeah Look, i know that some shows like to you know make up stuff and everything i mean i get it but us i wish we could say that that was a made-up story of me seeing human feces on the carpet yeah. i wish i could tell somebody that <laughs> that was, it was a, all made up thinking it was somebody's dog yeah <laughs> no that wasn't made up no nope. the, the, my, my new employee the first day i have to find out that my new employee decided hey everybody well didn't decide nature decided for him yeah it wasn't like i I made some sort of like I'm going to do this right now because it would be funny or some something. dogs mark their territory with turds. That's a good point. And That's, look, Red's been here ever since. I knew that day. 
That Rev would be an S show. I knew it would be. Thanks. Thanks. I knew he would be. Yeah, yeah. thanks. See what I did there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Somebody said, yeah. speaking of uh, dumping, uh, many years ago I worked at Costco. We had a cereal dumper. He would dump in the display storage shed constantly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why? Why? Wow. It had to be a co-worker. Yes, it did. And what was it about his job that made him that miserable? God, dude. There are people who just love to do that stuff, I guess. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. What is the most ridiculous thing you have seen at your workplace? Let's go to Josh and Oli. Josh, you are on the rock. Yes. How are we all doing today? Not too bad, Josh. How about yourself, buddy? Hey, I'm doing great. I'm on I-5 right now, heading into T-Town, about to go install some doors. Look at you! Dodge traffic. All right. You know what I mean? Living the dream. Yep, I'm proud you guys put the Beastie Boys on. I turned on 99.9. Hey, what do you got to say, man? Tell us about your story. (laughs) All right. You don't want to hear about the rest of his day, though. Yeah. You know, I sure? Know, right, right. I was I'm hoping we get to breakfast and then maybe lunch plans. Come on, Steve. <laughs> Let's go. I really care about Josh, Steve. Go. All right, Josh, what's your story, buddy? Let's go, Josh. Last last summer, I'm in Bristol Bay, Alaska. I'm fishing sockeye salmon. World's largest sockeye run. I'm a greenhorn on the boat. I've never been out there. Oh, before. greenhorn. Jump on this 35 foot drift netter, whatever the whatever the hell you call them. And uh, first couple weeks go good. First couple weeks go good. The fishing's slow. I'm getting acclimated to the boat. Freaking me. Learning to steer clear of the captain because he is on, an absolute jerk. He's a beast and I'm waiting to go off He's all a, the yeah. time. Uh-huh. Yeah. So uh, July, 4th of July, I wake up early. I make breakfast for everybody. We got chocolate pancakes, bacon, eggs, hot coffee. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm so sorry, Josh, but, uh, you yeah, know, we, uh, yeah, we, uh, the Academy, we Why have to play Why do we need one. to know about his breakfast? Oh, my gosh. I love Josh. I don't see you get irritated much. I don't see you get irritated much, but I was enjoying that. I mean, it wasn't like an angry, ir- angry irritation. Yeah. It was more of a, I cannot believe this is happening irritation. Was this an epic story that we missed, Rev? I mean, I feel badly, but we we had to move on. The Academy Awards, we have to keep it at three hours. So. Um, apparently, the uh, the ship captain pulled a gun on him. Whoa, that's okay. a story. So, yeah. So, I, the breakfast really had nothing to no, do with breakfast. No, he cooked yeah. him breakfast, and then the ship captain pulled a gun on him. Wow. Oh, good. I'm glad we got to that in yeah, one sentence probably from the Probably because he was talking for way too mm-hmm. long. So yeah. the ship captain got really <laughs> mad at him. Yeah. I told him to get to the point. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he listened. Boy, that's one thing, you know, I know I like to haze the greenhorns on those boats, but oh, oh, I've never oh. seen anybody like, you know, from the, the, the time band to pull a gun on anybody. I bet usually they make you eat a fish or something, right? Man, I mean, he was very descriptive. He'd be great at romance novels. Yes, he would. <laughs> Vicky, what do you give this guy romance novel-wise? Is he, uh, is he, nah, she, Someone says, that's like my wife telling a story right there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well. It's a good thing we have the uh, the Academy band, though. We, yes. we, we we can't let you have the acceptance speech go on too long. That story was riveting. Quit being D-bags. <laughs> Sorry, was it really late. riveting? No. I think they're being sarcastic. Yeah. But oh, okay. Not about the D-bags part. We are D-bags. No, we are yeah. D-bags, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 206 421 Rock, Texas at 77999. Uh, what is the most ridiculous thing you've seen at your workplace? So, since I worked at a cable store in Tacoma, we had a customer pee on their equipment outside, bring it into the store, and then throw it at the guy at the front counter. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, people can get mad at some of these companies. That can happen. The person said that at work, I saw my coworker being escorted out by the police while wearing a shirt that read, It's only illegal if you get caught. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. Retail, there's a lot of great stuff that happens in retail when people just lose their mind, including maybe a guy by the name of BJ that couldn't get someone to unlock the men's fitting room. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they, like, they, our company was so cheap that we we couldn't afford to have somebody man the fitting room, so we just had it locked because we had a theft problem, uh, you know, in the town where I worked. And so I would always have to, you know, at the front desk go, hey, Slappy from the men's uh, department, would you please go unlock the fitting room? And this woman came up like three times. And on the third time she came up, I just had, I was like, I was done. It was like, I don't know what to do. You want to buy clothes and people won't let you in. But I knew that the the woman in charge of men's had a relationship sort of, uh, you know, under the table, sort of, you know, off the books relationship with the general manager. So I uh, I, I may have got on the, uh, the, the intercom and on the third time just said stop flirting with the general manager and get out and do your damn job and open that door might have I might have done that was the general manager hot 
Uh, the general manager was a dude, but oh. he still well, was rather hot. Uh, he was hot. Yeah, all right. He was. What about the chick he was flirting with? I have to say that I was not a big fan of her. Oh, okay. I mean, but still, he blocked them. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, I, I, I was happy to let them go and do their own thing. It's just that, uh, you know, people, people got to buy their clothes, Steve. Come on. So, uh, comedian Pete Davidson, your favorite guy, Steve. <laughs> wow, okay. I mean, yeah. what do you mean by favorite? Yeah, okay. I don't know. Um, I don't know if you're going to actually like Pete even more because he actually uh, walked out on a comedy show. Why did Pete walk out? Because the club owner mentioned Pete's ex-girlfriends while uh, while on stage. We've got the audio of how the fans turned on Pete for you, and you're going to hear this at 747 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. I have lots of tickets that I haven't paid. Can those be discharged through a bankruptcy? Yes, there are some limits on, on what we can do with tickets. Tickets cannot be discharged in a full bankruptcy in a Chapter 7 case. That won't help you get your license back. But in Chapter 13 reorganization, uh, tickets are dischargeable. Most types of tickets are dischargeable. So you would have to pay back some of the tickets in a Chapter 13 13 case, but the vast majority of them could be discharged if you complete the plan. And again, you would get your license back right away um, when you filed the Chapter 13 case, uh, as long as the only reason you don't have your license is because of failure to pay your tickets. But if the, but the Chapter 13 process will help you get your license back and repay a, a small portion of your tickets in most cases uh, and get your license reinstated almost immediately. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. Com.